Josh Devine is the public information officer for the Tennessee Bureau of Investigation. Mr. Devine, good morning to you. Good morning, Matt. Can you tell us exactly how she's doing? How is Elizabeth Thomas doing? Well, as you heard in the piece from Joe Fryer, every indication is that Elizabeth, Ta Elizabeth Thomas, I should say, is doing just fine physically. However, there are still a lot of questions that we have. Obviously, we want to make sure that she's getting the best care and make sure that across the board, she's in the best state possible before she gets home here to Tennessee. And Mr. Devine, you talk about questions. I think a lot of people may have the question, what was her reaction when law enforcement closed in on them? I'm unaware of specifically what her reaction is, Matt. Since the start of this, we've had questions as to whether she knew she was a victim in this case. And so we're going to be talking with her. We want to know exactly what the set of events looked like before they left the state of Tennessee, what happened over the past weeks, and most importantly, what she needs right now so that she can move forward. As we understand it, when Mr. Cummins was approached, he surrendered peacefully and made a statement to the officer, I'm glad this is over. Is he talking to investigators now? I'm unaware of that, Savannah. You know, he's in custody right now in the state of California. Presumably, there will be conversations that will happen. It's important to note we still very much have an active criminal investigation. And as you have heard, there are now federal charges at play as well. You know, I, I think it's important to note that the Tennessee Bureau of Investigations put a lot of time and manpower on this. And Mr. Devine, I think you, I'm sure you also want to comment briefly on how important help from the public is in a situation like this. Absolutely, Matt. This is a huge success for the Amber Alert program here in the state of Tennessee. And really, it's a great example nationally of the power of the public. This is why we have the Amber Alert system. So when we have a situation like this with a missing child in imminent danger, the public knows exactly what to do. As we've said from the start of this, it takes just one tip to turn this entire thing around. And thankfully, we are gratified that that is exactly what has happened. Josh Devine. Mr. Devine, thanks very much. Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.